player just outside of the range of PR. Smash God, 11th. Very, very solid player. Definitely going to be an uphill battle for Zane, but it's not outside of his reach. Oh, he sits in the shield, and uh, Smash God runs around, and I guess he was trying to bait something out. I'm not really sure what he uh, was going for there. He ends up getting a grab. Okay. Neutral air kind of catches him off guard a little bit. Ooh, rising forward air. And uh, Zane did not think to crouch cancel it, so he got back on the stage for free. Oh, uh, ledge dash down, down tilt again. Something that Marth could pretty easily crouch cancel and punish. And with Smash God sitting at a pretty 120%, that's something Zane should be abusing more. Okay, catches him with the back air. And now Zane is going to really struggle to take this stock. He's got to find that opening in neutral before that happens. Hey, Smash God ends up sneaking out the first stock just because Zane was not able to close out and finish his food. Wow! <laughs> so early, early 20% kill. Uh, I think Zane just got a little bit... He got... Uh, I don't know what the word is. Got too cocky, I guess, at the ledge. Thought that 180% is something that, you know, not really a threat. I can go off there and get him, hit him with anything, and then Smash God just kind of snuck in that real quick low percentage kill. Got him stuck under Battlefield, and that was it. Get a back throw. Forward air is going to do it. Um, at 200%, though, Zane has got to close out stocks earlier than that. He cannot afford to let Marth get that high. Okay. Oh! All right, so he manages to sneak in 60% and not able to really follow it up with anything, edge guard or otherwise. Sneaks in another forward air, tries, I guess, going for the tech and place read. Could have been an execution error, too. Uh, tries going for the back throw forward smash and was off by a pixel. <laughs> uh, that's got to be an up tilt attempt. He's going for these forward smashes, which I like, trying to... Uh, Trying to take advantage of killing him as early as he can. Oh, that might be a crucial mistake for Smash God, but Zane rolls up a little bit too early. And again, rolls up a little bit too early. He's not respecting Marth's vertical movement enough or Smash God's double jump. So Smash God is able to just stand up and get a forward smash, and now he's got Zane. And you look, uh, the biggest difference that I saw there between Zane and Smash God is that Smash God is really abusing his invincibility at the ledge. He's taking every frame that he can to make sure that the, uh, the couple of frames that it's goes for the Marth Killer, but Smash God knows how to get around it. There we go. 173%, again, way too much. Uh, there were, he had a couple of opportunities there to close it out, but just wasn't able to do it. Not really taking advantage of his invincibility at the ledge, not taking advantage of crouch canceling, and that's really proving to be the difference maker right now. Smash God has gotten three relatively low percentage kills. Only one of them got above 100%. Um, so unless Zane can, can match that, he's really going to struggle to take these games. I think that was a guaranteed dare, but Smash God's kind of... I don't know if he's playing with him or if he's just playing it safe. It's kind of tough to tell. Ooh, that was definitely solid. Short hop down air to catch Zane as he's coming up, and unless that was a perfect sweet spot, which is ridiculously hard to do on Battlefield, uh, there was no way Zane was getting out of that one alive. <sighs> so we're going to step into game two here. They're going back to the same stage. Not really all that surprising. I think Zane just had to make a couple of adjustments work on getting the earlier kills on Smash God. It looked like he was doing a decent enough job in neutral. Um, but where he was really failing was to get the low percent edge guards and low percent tippers. Okay, crouch cancel forward air and down tilt. Smash God gained the advantage and then the tipper that it doesn't look like Zane was expecting. But he sneaks around the forward smash and that's going to let him get back on the stage. Back throw. Well, down throw. Not sure how he dropped that low and didn't die, but, uh, you know, we take those. Oh, tries catching him with the forward smash as he's coming up with the forward air. Honestly, something Zane is not taking advantage of at the ledge that he really needs to is that crouch cancel of the ledge hop forward air. Uh, you can do pretty much anything after that. 
Uh, it's quite a bit of lag on the forwarder. All right, we got a tech chase. Drops it. Oh. I'm sure Zane's happy to hear that. Now he's, I think he's trying a little bit too hard to force these forward smashes. I think he knows that he needs to get low percent kills. The issue is that he's not mixing it up. Ooh, unfortunate uh, error from Smash Gun. Zane's gonna take it, but it doesn't look like he's too happy about it. Anyway, like I was saying, uh, Zane is trying to get these low percent throw into forward smashes, but since he's not really doing a great job of mixing it up, Smash Gun's just ready for the DI every time. Tries catching up with a dare there. <laughs> now we're swinging with some pretty heavy attacks right now. Zane is at a percent where he's ready to be killed by an early tipper. Smash God, meanwhile, second SD in a single match. We'll have to see if he lets that get to him, but... Oh, run through tipper. That's pretty solid. It's going to be a good start if he can get a... Uh, oh, this is going to be a great start. All right, kind of drops the combo after only 34%. Not the end of the world. Oh. Okay, grabs ledge. Again, rolls up just a bit too early. That was his opportunity. Smash God went up way too high, and Zane had all day to run over with a down tilt or a forward smash or just about anything, and he kind of dropped it. Ooh. Smash God trying to hit the forward smash. Zane trying to trick him. There's a lot of really tricky stuff going on here between these two players. Forward throw again, going for the forward smash. Smash God well ahead of him. Gets him with the back air, though. That was a really slick wave land off uh, into that back air. This is definitely still possible for Smash God, especially if Zane can't get the kill here in these next 30%. Okay, forward air. Uh, gets clipped by the get up attack, though. Now we're seeing a problem where Zane's really going to have to gonna have to work and find his opening in neutral if he wants to kill Smash God. Forward air is going to almost do it. Ooh. Smash God dips a little low. Uh, I'll be honest, that was a kind of sloppy play from Smash God that game. Uh, I'm sure he'll be able to clean it up for next one, but still, Zane's got to be pretty happy with the way he played. Uh, definitely earned two and most of those stocks. So we got some long, drawn-out thoughts here about where to go for game three. And they're going to go to Pokemon. All right. So this is a uh, this is probably a good counter pick. You don't have to worry too much about any top platform shenanigans no matter where you go. Um, Marth still gets to take advantage of the side platforms, though. Oh, really quick double uh, down tilt into a sneaky, sneaky ledge hog. Zane loses the first stock without being able to touch Smash God. Oh, and an early percent tipper. That's two quick stocks. And Smash God's only at 11%. Tilt. Tries to sneak in with a back air. I think that was a great decision. I'm not sure up air would have connected. Uh, just misspaces it by a fraction of a pixel. Zane's trying to do uh, same kind of sneaky stuff that Smash God was getting away with. The second... That was actually super brilliant. The second hit of uh, side B going upwards to kind of catch Zane's uh, edge guard attempt. I don't know that I've ever seen that before. That was really, really sneaky play. Okay. Smash God's being patient. He's not really swinging forward smash as much as he had in the games previous. I think he's not trying to blow this lead. Catches him with another tipper, though, and that's something that Zane has been missing. He's been getting the forward smashes, but he's been missing the tipper by maybe one, you know, just a fraction of a hair. That's three stocks down, and we're at a percentage right now where a four stock is definitely in play. Ooh, down tilt's going to do it, though. Good job by Zane managing to sneak that out. And at 0%, very unlikely we'll see a U won't. However, okay, Windmill kind of saves Zane there. Smash God's still just all over him, and I think Zane's playing a little bit too cautiously. Up throw, not a whole lot you can get off of that on Marth. Seeing some dash dances. Smash God uh, swings a forward smash, and he's going to end up paying for it. 
I think that dash attack had to have been a mistake. I think he wanted to run off forward air or a run off up air or something. Okay. Doesn't quite get the tipper, but he does get him off stage. Gets the back air, though, and that's going to be a big, big difference maker. Riding at only 65%, uh, with a really clean stock here, Zane could absolutely take this, but he would need an early percent kill that we've yet to see from him. Uh, meanwhile, Smash God gets the back air, and that's going to do it. Really, really good showing from both players. Um, kind, of a, kind of a sloppy game there in Game 2 for Smash God. Zane still managing to clutch it out. And in game three, we saw...